Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Jonas Yandan with Evening News. The headlines. Third phase of Pratan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana launched today in 600 districts across the country. Army Day being celebrated today. Third Battalion of Nagar Regiment conferred with Chief of Army Staff Unit Citation Award. Minister Demjan Imnalong calls upon student community to pursue their dreams and excel through hard work. And various agencies felicitated for their service rendered in firefighting at Zugu Valley. The third phase of Pratan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana BMKVY was launched today in 600 districts across the country. Spearheaded by the Ministry of Skill Development and Entrepreneurship, this phase will focus on new age and COVID-related skills. Skill Development Minister Dr. Mahendra Nath Pandey interacted with various students of the Skill Development Centres. Skill India Mission BMKVY 3.0 envisages training of eight like candidates over a scheme period of 2020-21 with an outlay of 949 crore rupees. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launched the Skill India programme in 2015 and it has gained tremendous momentum through the launch of its flagship scheme BMKVY to unlock the vision of making India the skill capital of the world. 73rd Army Day is being celebrated today to mark the taking over as Commander-in-Chief of the Indian Army by the then Lieutenant General K.M. Karyapa in 1949 from the General Francis Butcher, the last British Commander-in-Chief of India. President Ramnath Govind and Prime Minister Narendra Modi greeted the valiant men and women of the Indian Army on the occasion. In a tweet, Govind said, Nation remembers the brave hearts who made supreme sacrifice in service to the nation. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also saluted the Indian Army on behalf of all countrymen. In a tweet, Modi said, Our army is strong, courageous and determined, which has always made the country proud. Army Chief General M. M. Narawani assured the nation that a sacrifice of brave hearts of Galwan would not go in vain. Speaking at the Army Day celebrations at New Delhi, General Naravani said a befitting reply was given to conspirators who tried to unilaterally change the status quo on northern borders. On the occasion of 73rd Army Day, the 3rd Battalion of Nagar Regiment has been conferred with the Chief of the Army Staff Unit Citation Award for exemplary performance in the service of the nation during the year 2020. On behalf of the battalion, the Chief of the Army Staff Unit Citation Award was received by Colonel Bimlesh and Subedar Major Senrun Elvenson Anal today during the Army Day Parade in New Delhi. 3rd Naga is the youngest battalion in the regiment and was raised in the year 2009 at Raniket, nestled among the Kumaon Hills, home of the Kumaon and Naga Regiment. This year, 23 units of the Indian Army have been conferred with a governed honour on the occasion of the Army Day. Since raising, the battalion in a short span of 11 years has excelled at every given opportunity and acquitted itself with absolute professionalism in all spheres of soldiering. Minister for Higher Education and Tribal Affairs Temjan Imna Along called upon the student community not to waste their time but pursue their dreams and excel through hard work. Addressing the 58th General Session of Kumingan Students' Union today at Nogluck Village, Temjin urged the students to keep on working hard and be proud of their heritage. The minister also advised the people of Nogluck to be united and become a vibrant and robust district in Nagaland. Advisor for Prisons, Printing and Stationery, H. Haying advised the students to set their goals, visions and be prepared today for their future. As the country gears up for the biggest vaccination drive against COVID-19, we present a series on quick facts one should know about COVID-19 vaccination. The common side effects after administering the vaccine could be mild fever and pain at the site of the injection. Necessary arrangements have been put in place to deal with any COVID-19 vaccine-related side effects among the masses. This news comes to you from All India Radio, Kohima. Nagaland State Disaster Management Authority and District Disaster Management Authority Kohima organized a felicitation program today at Kohima in appreciation of the service rendered by various agencies in firefighting at Zugu Valley. 
Home Commissioner Abhijit Sinha congratulated and appreciated the agencies for handling the disaster successfully and further encouraged them to continue with the same efforts and utilize the experiences in future. Home Commissioner Abhijit Sinha with advisors Dr. Nikki Kere and Meto Yoka gave away the certificate of appreciation to various agencies for providing crucial logistic support in the firefighting efforts in Zugu Valley, Kohima. Chief Electoral Officer Nagalin Abhijit Sinha has informed that the final electoral roll with a reference to 1st January 2021 as the qualifying date has been prepared and published today by the respective electoral registration officers of all the districts in the state. In a release, Sinha informed that the total electors in the state as per the final published roll is 12 lakh 35,000 839, including general and service electors. The CEO further informed that the final electoral roll can be inspected in the Office of the Concerned Electoral Registration Officer during office hours or can be accessed at the Chief Electoral Officer Nagalin website at ceo.nagalin.gov.in. Nagalin reported four positive cases of COVID-19 today, taking the total daily to 12,039. Health and Family Welfare Minister Espanya Pom in a tweet said two cases each have been reported from Kohima and Dimapu. In addition, 22 patients have recovered from the infection, which included 21 from Dimapu and one in Mon. With this, the total recovered cases reached to 11,707. Two more deaths have been reported from Dimapu today adding the COVID-19 death daily to 78, while then deaths are under investigation. Presently, 104 cases are active, while 140 cases have migrated. Nagaland Governor Arun Ravi and Chief Minister Rio have extended greetings on the occasion of Tsungam New Festival. In a message, Ravi said, Feasts during festival are an important practice and it is also a manifestation of reconciliation. He said a festival upholds significant traits such as unity, forgiveness, peace and friendship. Governor Ravi urged everyone to celebrate this beautiful festival, observing all COVID-19 norms and wished happiness, good health, peace and prosperity. Chief Minister Nipirio wished that the true spirit of the festival will prevail among all sections of the people. Extending Tsengkam New and Mimkut greetings, Deputy Chief Minister Wai Patton hoped that the festive season enabled the people to explore the possibilities of bringing oneness and unity amongst brothers and sisters to make the festivals more memorable and meaningful. Nagaland skipper Jonathan Rongsen and SS Munte scored half centuries as Nagaland cruised to 100 runs, win over Sikkim in the group match of the Said Mustak Ali T20 trophy being played at Chennai. Put into bad, Nagaland scored 176 runs, losing four wickets in the allotted 20 overs. Chasing the target, Sikkim managed to score 76 runs, losing all wickets in 14.2 overs. Nagaland will face Mizoram on January the 17th. And as the nation fights COVID-19 pandemic, let us all remember to stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, wash hands frequently with soap and water, or use hand sanitizer and follow social distancing norms. And now to end the news, here are the main points again. Third phase of Pratan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana launched today in 600 districts across the country. Army Day being celebrated today. Third Battalion of Naga Regiment conferred with Chief of Army Staff Unit Citation Award. Minister Demptonin M. Nalong calls upon student community to pursue their dreams and excel through hard work. And various agencies felicitated for their service rendered in firefighting at Zugu Valley. That is all we have in this evening news bulletin. Good night. <laughs>